Hi, hello and welcome back to Kelo Dimag Se, presented to you by Dream11. Uh, I hope the previous game between CSK and SRH uh, fetched you a lot of points and you people are enjoying playing the Fantasy League. Uh, here we are back again for this uh, sort of a mid-table mid -table clash which is, uh, which is going to determine which, teams will, which team will move forward and which team will again hold back. Both teams have an opportunity here. KKR is taking on Punjab Kings at the Dubai International Stadium. Uh, KKR as they stand uh, have got a wonderful opportunity to advance in the table and leave the rest of the teams behind because KKR are having a much better net run rate than all the other teams in the middle clog. Uh, when I say middle clog, I mean Mumbai Indians, um, uh, the Punjab Kings, the Rajasthan Royals, uh, KKR, all of them are in the mid, mid table muddle sort to say uh, to get to the third or the fourth position. Uh, with RCB winning another game, KKR uh, and all the other teams are looking to seal the fourth uh, fourth spot, I must say, because RCB and uh, Delhi along with Chennai are looking good to qualify in the first three. Uh, so the fourth place is sort of muddled up and KKR have a wonderful opportunity to really stake a claim here. They have looked the informed team in the second half. They have played wonderful cricket. Um, so what does it look? Like I've always said, the recent form, recent performances, recent clashes. How do they look? For starters, the last game that KKR and Kings XI played was a low scoring affair. Uh, chasing about 120 odd, KKR really went home and uh, the chase was beautifully handled and sealed through by the England World Cup winning captain Oin Morgan. Um, uh, the recent there has been a lot of noise uh, between us, but that's a different topic altogether. But here, Oin Morgan uh, handled the chase beautifully. Has been one of the he's been sort of a flag bearer for English white ball cricket and the KKR captain. He got a 47, was the man of the match in that game. Uh, whether we pick Oin Morgan or not, he comes in a little late, bats at number 5. Andre Russell not there. If Andre Russell is there, then he drops one more spot down the order. Uh, so, not quite sure uh, whether we would, whether I would be picking him. It's purely based on credit versus points basis. Uh, but the wicket at the Dubai International Stadium is pretty good. Uh, because it's it's been reasonably good for batting and the middle order batsmen, not so much of the middle order batsmen, but the top order batsmen have been getting runs. So, the top order batsmen look a lock. Uh, they will lock spots in my team as well, uh, which brings in Rahul Tripathi, uh, Shubman Gill, Mayank Agarwal, KL Rahul. All these are banking run, bankers in terms of run uh, runs. Mayank had a stiff neck last game, so missed out. Mandeep Singh came in, so I expect Mayank Agarwal to come back into the team. So Mayank and KL Rahul are, are a lock in as far as I am concerned with respect to batters. Uh, so what about the other performers? Uh, there were two battles that happened between the same teams in the last edition of the IPL when we came here to Dubai to play the IPL 2020. One of those games happened in Abu Dhabi and the other games happened at Sharjah. What happened there? Who performed? The fixtures that happened in Dubai leg of the IPL, the 2020 version, uh, both games went 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 really really well for uh, Punjab I must say the second game that happened the game that happened in Abu Dhabi I must say Kings 11 Punjab fell short by centimeters not by a few runs but a few centimeters Glenn Maxwell had to get those uh, six runs in the last ball with Sunil Narayan bowled like he bowled against CSK a few days back um, and this time Glenn Maxwell hit the ball few centimeters short and Kings 11 Punjab couldn't get cross the line against the KKR uh, in the Abu Dhabi fixture. In the Sharjah fixture, the Gail Storm was unraveled. Uh, Mandeep Singh, who again played that game instead of Mayank Agarwal because Mayank Agarwal, I'm sure, had uh, some small niggle in that game as well and Mandeep got a 50. Uh, but Mayank, I expect him to slot right back in because he missed out the last game due to a stiff uh, neck. Uh, if he slots in back, KL Rahul and Mayank Agarwal are a lock-in. And uh, one more thing about Ayn Morgan when I mentioned him the last time is the fact that Ayn Morgan not only anchored the chase in Ahmedabad but also got 40 odd runs at Sharjah and made a tw and made 24 or something like that against uh, if I'm not wrong 24 of 23 against Kings 11 again got out to Ravi Bishnoi trying to hit him over cover so uh, that gives a case for Ayn Morgan but a batsman because there are four lock-ins uh, Rahul Tripathi and Shubman Gill will lock into my team as batters Shubman Gill made runs against um, KKR last time uh, in in uh, Sharjah, so he is a lock-in for me. And Rahul Tripathi has been in fine form, making a case for um, again uh, Niti Shrana, who's been a banker who made runs last game against the Delhi Capitals as well. Um, now, what does it leave me with? A keeper, uh, a choice of a keeper that I need to make. Uh, KL Rahul is a lock-in. Uh, he does fall under the keeper category, but Dinesh Karthik had a wonderful game against the Kings Eleven Punjab at Abu Dhabi. Uh, he sort of paid a cameo against them, and uh, if you want points. 
especially with Andre Russell missing, Dinesh Karthik might walk in at 5 or 6 depending on left and right combination. Uh, so Dinesh Karthik uh, is someone that I'm very keenly looking at. Um, so this is with respect to batting and keeping. So what do I do about all-rounders? Um, the all-rounders, Sunil Narayan is, is, is a fixture, is bowling pretty well, got those runs against us the last game. Uh, he's looking in a good, is looking in a nick that's as good as gold. Um, Varun Chakravarti, I mean, the other all-rounder is Andre Russell, who, um, who I'm not too sure about whether I should go for him or not because he's got an injury scare and might not feature in this game again. Um, and uh, the all-rounder side from Kings Eleven Punjab, not a lot of options. Um, I've got I've got uh, the all-rounder option of Deepak Huda, uh, but the game's happening at Dubai. Uh, the wickets are good, and I'm not sure how much bowling Deepak Huda might do and when he might bat. So I'm just going in with one all-rounder in all likelihoods. And with respect to bowlers, Varun Chakravarti and Sunil Narayan have had the choke hold over Kings Eleven Punjab through the middle overs. But here uh, we can take a chance. Uh, because Sunil Narayan falls under the all-rounder category, we can look at leaving Varun Chakravarti out because there is another bowler who's been in good wicket-taking form, bowls at the death, who's Arshdeep Singh. With KKR's bowling, um, bowling arsenal, we can look at going for Lockie Ferguson, who is doing a role at the death for them. Uh, bowls pretty well with the new ball as well. He's got a slower ball, so he is in good wicket-taking form. If Prasid Krishna is there, the way the Dubai pitch is behaving, I'm likely to go with Prasid Krishna as well. Uh, so that's my lineup. I'm looking to leave Varun Chakravarti out because teams are looking to play him out. He might go for four overs, 24, 25 odd. He's bowling pretty well, but yeah, wickets wickets fetch you points in fantasy cricket. So yeah, that's why I'm leaving. I might I might be inclined to leave Varun Chakravarti out. So how does my team look? Who are the captain and who's the vice captain? Now, uh, who is the captain and who is the vice captain? Take a look. So, my lineup looks like this. I've got two keepers, like I said first, uh, KL Rahul and uh, Dinesh Karthik. Dinesh Karthik purely because of how he batted recently and also the sort of game that he had against uh, Kings Eleven the last time. My batters, I'm taking pick, pick, taking five batters. Uh, Mayank Agarwal, Rahul Tripathi, Shubman Gill, Nitish Rana and Mayank Agarwal. Uh, sorry, I said Mayank Agarwal. So, it's Aiden Markram. That's the fifth batter, leaving Morgan out because Morgan's batting a little low. Um, Ma Markram has been in decent nick, batted pretty well last game as well. So, he's batting at three for Kings Eleven Punjab, maybe three or four. So, he's looking like he's in good touch. So, I'm picking him. The only all-rounder, like I said, will be Sunil Narayan and my bowlers are uh, Ashdeep Singh, uh, Prasid Krishna and uh, Lockie Ferguson. And uh, finally, uh, if Mayank Agarwal does miss out before the game and if he's not recovered, I will pick Mohamed Shami instead of Mayank Agarwal rather than going for another batter uh, because Mohamed Shami has picked up wickets but uh, weighing it up against the KKR batsmen and the death bowling that uh, Shami and Ashdeep are doing, I have to go with only either Ashdeep or Mohamed Shami. So that's the choice. In case, again, I repeat, Mayank Agarwal misses out, I'll go for Mohamed Shami. My captain for the game uh, will be KL Rahul. It's like um, banking upon someone who's going to give me a lot of points. And most of the people will pick KL Rahul as the captain. He will play, look to sheet anchor the innings. And my vice captain for the day will be Rahul Tripathi. Has been hitting the ball really well and Dubai has been a decent pitch to bat on. Uh, in case they lose an early wicket, I expect Rahul Tripathi to come and make those runs for me as a vice captain. So that's my team. Uh, hopefully that helps you uh, make your team and uh, enjoy your fantasy.